I actually started uh, making the film. I mean, I uh, was interested. I read these articles by Sainath in the Hindu um, on the agricultural crisis in Vyanad, and that's how I entered the space. And in in one of his articles, he had described a bus journey, and he disc he you know he talked about the migration from Vyanad to Karnataka for growing ginger, and in the bus. He describes this entire article was a uh, bus journey of this woman, Bimila, who goes uh, to uh, the other side of the border looking for work. And I was fascinated by that and I, I went to Vainat seeing whether I could make a film about the agricultural crisis but restricted to the bus, you know, the entire film in the bus. But then, um, you know, it was very difficult, I mean, you can't, uh, you know, sound and things like that and all that. So right from the beginning, uh, you know, the uh, bus was a kind of a, a representation of a journey and, you know, the space. But there was uh, a conscious decision that, you know, landscape, it, it, uh, that we would stay away from representing landscape as, say, maybe how uh, we would look at it as tourists, which means like separate from humans. Since we're talking about uh, the relationship between nature and humans, I think it was important that the, the humans was framed within the landscape and not the landscape. So except for the first shot in the film where you see those, the blue sky and the rolling hills, I think we uh, kind of just shown um, either humans in landscape or these, you know, small creatures um, in the landscape. So that was, yeah, uh, probably a conscious decision as to how um, uh, to represent it. And it's uh, it's interesting to see this film, uh, this film in this festival because there's a way in which uh, films about the city have or give a certain experience of time, which one generally understands as industrial time in a way. Like the loom in uh, Ruchika and Mahanti's film had this, you know, it sort of built a certain idea of time into the film. But your film does this thing where it's somewhere between. Um, uh, between epic time and rural time and um, and I find that intriguing also because we had a fi festival of films I think Mara organized it about a year ago around the notion of time and the city and then again there was a certain idea of time that played through and your film does something very different from that and uh, Sushma's film was doing something with the magic of cinematic time in a way where something magical can happen and it's, you know, the, the auto rickshaw can grow wings and sprout and go off. And, but I mean, it, I find this film slows you down, but yet also gives you a, a very interesting experience in a way, which is different from the other films.